You're not where you want to be. You feel like you're supposed to be somewhere else. Say you could snap your fingers and be wherever you wanted to be. I bet you'd still feel this way, not in the right place. The point is you can't get so hung up on where you'd rather be that you forget how to make the most of where you are. What are you telling me? Take a break from worrying about what you can't control. Live a little. Live a little. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Do you love this game? I mean, love it with your whole heart. Because if you don't, let's not even bother. Let's not open that door. They're just gonna slam it right in our face. I love this game. I live this game. And there's a thousand other guys waiting in the wings who are obsessed with this game. Obsession's gonna be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? Is it all you ever think about? Let's face it, it's you against you out there. When you walk on that court, you have to think I am the best guy out there. I don't care if LeBron's playing. A lot of times I'll be in a 200 mile run or something like that, and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I started to say, what if I can pull this off? When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African-Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? It's the what if I can pull off a miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? And just, that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms. And the fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. That always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, always yep. not doing the right thing. And then one day you're an old man. Yep. And you look back and go, God, I could have been great. Yep. Those I can't catch a break guys. Yeah. Get them the f away from me. I can't, I can't be around those guys. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't buy it. Because everybody has bad breaks. Yeah. I've had a shit ton of bad breaks. But you know what I did? I, I stayed up. Yeah. And I thought through it. And I, and I figured out what the f I did wrong. And then I went back. It's like, I f***ed up everything I've ever done a hundred times. After a while, even if they're your good friend, you gotta be like, bro, you gotta f***ing stop. You gotta stop with all this I can't catch a break bullshit. All the time you're complaining, you could be instead hustling. You could be instead chasing your dream. You could be instead figuring out what you're doing wrong, trying to prove certain aspects of your life, getting your shit together, reading a book, meditating, something, f***ing something. But this I can't catch a break shit is not helping anybody and it pushes everybody away from you. You will fail at some point in your life, accept it. You will lose, you will embarrass yourself, you will suck at something. There's no doubt about it. And I know that's probably not a traditional message for a graduation ceremony, but hey, I'm telling you, embrace it because it's inevitable. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Les Brown's a motivational speaker. He made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are gonna be around your bed when your time comes?